Hello, calculus students. In this problem, we're going to evaluate the derivative of this path here, um, but we're going to use the chain rule because we have a composition of, uh, well, functions. Um, we have um, the um, vector valued function, and it's evaluated at g of t, where um, here's our vector value, fu vector value function, and here is our scalar function. Okay, recall that the uh, chain rule um, states that uh, we take the derivative of the outside function and then we evaluate it at g of t. Then we multiply that by the derivative of the scalar valued function, which we sometimes just call the inside function. Okay, so um, since we have to take uh, derivatives of um, the path r of t and the scalar function, uh, we're going to use those. Uh, I'm just going to proceed with um, computing just r prime of t straight away, and then I'll evaluate it at g of t. So um, when I take the derivative of r of t, um, the uh, derivative of sine 2 of t is, uh, there's a the 2 pops out and a derivative, I'm using the chain rule there, and the 1d case, um, so the 2 will pop out, and I'll have a 4 um, times cosine of 2t. So notice that because differenti differentiation for ve vector value functions is done component-wise, I'll differentiate this term and this term, but um, each of these is going to require its own chain rule. Um, so, as I said, we'll have a 4 cosine of 2t. And then, um, for the same reason, we'll get a 12, um, but a minus 12 sine of 2t. And uh, there I employed component-wise differentiation and, uh, and a chain rule in each case. And then um, we compute g primed of t, and that is just simply 2t. Okay, now uh, I'm going to invoke the uh, chain rule here. So um, ddt of the vector value function evaluated at g of t is um, now going to be, I have a 4 cosine of 2 and um, the argument here is t, but remember now this is evaluated at g of t. So I have to take g of t from over here and um, evaluate it uh, in, in that argument. So um, that means uh, we will get a t squared here. And similarly, we have a minus 12 sine 2, and then... This argument's t, but remember, we're evaluating at g of t, so I have to substitute this t squared in. Just like we did in calc 1. And we have that expression. And then uh, we're going to multiply this by g prime of t, which is just simply 2t. And uh, we could do a little simplification by uh, distributing the scalar into the um, to the vector and uh, we'll have 8 t cosine of 2 t squared comma minus 24 t sine 2 t squared and that is our solution all right good luck